LogMeIn Rescue is a solution that offers anytime, anywhere support built with the power, security, scalability, and reliability that users have come to expect. Once you've established a connection with a customer, you will then have the option to start remote control. Remote control takes place in the customer desktop tab in the technician console. When the launch remote control button is pressed, the end user will receive a permissions prompt stating the permissions the technician will have once the session starts. Once the user acknowledges the permissions prompt, remote control will begin. The customer will have 30 seconds to acknowledge the permission prompt, otherwise it will deny the remote control automatically. Prior to launching remote control, you will have the option to restart as a system service. Restarting as a system service is how Rescue elevates itself so that lower level admin tasks can be performed, such as logging out of a user into another, interacting with UAC prompts, and control of delete screens. The customer will be notified that you are elevating to a service, and the connection will drop briefly as it makes a switch. This is completely normal behavior. Once the switch has been made, the session becomes active again with the added functionality. The rescue service automatically deletes itself at the end of the session. In the admin center, you can automate this process so that the technician does not have to do anything manually to perform this task. This is done under the group level settings. Once in remote control, you have various options and tools along the top of the screen. To the far left, you have the option to enable full screen. This is done simply by clicking on the full screen button, like so. Besides the full screen button, you have access to drop down menus with some settings to how the screen is rendered. These settings include color quality, sizing for how remote control fits your screen, and limit CPU utilization. Limit CPU utilization is generally used when Rescue is using more CPU than normal. This tends to happen on older single core systems. When logging into a user with multiple monitors, you will have the option to cycle to which monitor you are currently viewing. Alternatively, to the right of the Cycle Monitors button, you have the option to manually select any individual monitor you wish to see, or all monitors simultaneously. From the technician's perspective, you can leverage multiple monitors by utilizing the Tearaway option in the Customer Desktop tab. This allows the remote control window to pop out so you can view multiple customer screens at once. To the right of the magnifying option, you have the ability to push Control alt delete commands to the remote machine. This option is only available when running as a system service, as Rescue requires elevation in order to present this area of the operating system. Directly in the middle of the toolbar is the icon for launching Task Manager. This is noted by the computer monitor with a green line through it. Clicking this button automatically opens the Task Manager in the forefront of all other applications in the remote machine. The clipboard option allows you to enable or disable the clipboard syncing between the technician and the customer machine. Use keyboard synchronization to ensure that the text you type appears according to the selected keyboard's layout. On the remote control toolbar, click keyboard synchronization. Select local or remote depending on which computer's keyboard layout you want to use. While in a remote control session, we also provide two annotation options. Whiteboard is used to draw and illustrate things on the customer desktop. Once the button for whiteboard has been clicked, you will have the option to start the whiteboard, end the whiteboard, and erase drawings on the customer screen. Laser pointer renders a red dot on the customer screen that moves as your cursor. This is useful if you're quickly directing the user to click somewhere. You only have the option to enable or disable the laser pointer. For screen recording, this is also initiated from the toolbar. By default, the technician will need to specify the location to store the screen recordings. Once this has been done, the technician will have the option to start and stop screen recording. Alternatively, in the Admin Center under the Group Settings, you can force screen recordings for each and every session. You can also specify a central storage location. We support FTP, local server share paths, and WebDAB for screen recording storage. Second from the right is the Screen Capture option. This allows you to take a static image of the end user screen and save as a bitmap, JPEG, or PNG file. If you have any questions, please feel free to view the documentation in the Trial Center, or contact customer care at help.logmein.com.